Okay, activity three, brainstorm verbs. What do you like to do with your friends and family? Complete the sentences below with action verbs like jump, dive, float, or swim. One, I like to move it, move it. Two, I like to move it, move it. Three, I like to move it, move it. Four, I like to move it. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're you're not wrong. Actually, you might have needed to add a comma between the move its. I'm not 100% sure. I like to move it, move it. No, full marks, full answer. You get a four to four on that one, my friend. Communication. Explain the difference between the exponential function e to the power of x and b to the power of x. One has an e and the other has a b. You know what? <laughs> Kid, you're right. <laughs> you can, he did communicate. He told you what the difference was. I know you wanted the mathematical answer, but sir, maybe he is more fond of English and that is his explanation. And I think we should all not be so judgmental and accept it because it is correct. It is just not what you wanted him to say, but it is correct nonetheless. Bonus, what country owns Greenland? Hint, it's not Greenland. <laughs> not Greenland. He got it, he got a bonus for that. This teacher is the best. Oh my gosh, that is funny. And it's not even a kid, like this writing. I'm thinking grade nine, grade 10, somewhere in there, high school for sure. Definitely not middle school. <laughs> but you could have been like, not Canada, not the United States. Clever, clever. You know Jurassic Park? Clever girl. That, that's it, that's cool. Hi guys, welcome back to Kick Back and React. I'm your host Britt and today, we're gonna be looking at the kids who beat the system. I'm really excited for this one because as a kid, I would just like follow all the rules. I would not deviate from them. And I'm just like wanting to see what kind of life hacks I could have done when I was younger and gotten away with it. So let's go. There's something amazing in the box. What is in the box? You choose. Infinity dollars. <laughs> I give full marks. They even did the infinity sign. Like you're a genius. You're an amazing genius. Full marks. I wanna do a very, whatever level this is test. I wanna see if I'd fail, I probably would. Because honestly, if you ever watched, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Those questions are hard. You're like, oh my God, they're picking a fifth grade question. Like prepare to lose, prepare to lose a hint. You're out of here, buddy. It's harder than who wants to be a millionaire sometimes. I swear it is. Would you rather be stuck on an island all alone or with one person you hate? Why? I'd rather be on an island with someone I hate so I have something to eat. <laughs> Did the teacher draw that star? Did they like, they're like, wow, good facts. That is 100% true. Like at least you have something to nourish your body. We need a psych consult. We need to sit down with this child. We need to have a one-on-one. -on -one. We need to know what is the root of their issues. I'm like, I'm like nervous for myself. I'm like, I hope I never meet this child. I hope they're okay. I hope they work through their issues and they moved on and they got the help that they needed. Write the following words in alphabetical order, bold. The order they come in the alphabet. Oh, thanks for explaining that, that it clears so much up. Oh, okay. So they did it in order that they were written, but then they put the letters of the word in alphabetical order. Like if that is not on some next genius level, I don't know what is because their minds like work differently, but he basically did it. I mean, check his work. I think it's right. I, I'd give full marks. Because if they're able to do this, they show that they're able to comprehend what was being asked and they can do alphabetical order, it's fine. They just, they just didn't do what most of us would have done. It's okay. It's fine. Not all our brains work the same way. We told him not to set a foot outside. This was his solution. Why couldn't he go outside? Was he in trouble? But like, kudos for him for listening to instruction, very detailed. And like, quite literally, he's doing what he was told. So you need to be more clear with your instructions because he's the take it as it literally means fact kind of guy. You need to say, you can't set any part of your body outside. Then let's see what he comes up with. I'd like to see that. He puts himself in like a bubble or something or like plastic and he's just like out there. He's like, well, I'm not outside. I'm technically inside. That's funny. Geometry, shape. Name these 2D shapes. <laughs> Jade, Charlotte, Charlie, Sophia, Harriet, Emily, and Maria. All my best friends are shapes. That's so funny. You could have went with the, you know, plain old square, but I, 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 I like your names too. We'll go with that. Square is now called a jade, and I like it. Use a strategy you have learned. Tony buys one dozen roses. Half of them are red. How many of the roses are not red? Half of the roses are not red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm like, well, half of them aren't, so there you go. You know what? He's using fractions. It's the answer six, but it's okay. Uh, half of them are true. They're not red. You can't be so savage. Like a teacher has to give him that, right? Because it, it's facts. Which is the best estimate for the length of a football? One football, they added the word ball. 
It's only a test prep, sweetie. Don't worry, you, you can get the right answer for the real test. That's funny. One T sign over X over N. Okay, they cross out the ends. Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> One T six equals seven. One plus six equals seven. Oh my God. Oh my God, their plus signs look like a T. I was like, what is this? It's a plus, Brittany, it's a plus. When I was in school, I had to take advanced calculus and like I dropped that after the first class. And they're like, no, Brittany, you can do it. I was like, no, I can't. Clearly, I think T's are T's instead of pluses in math. Circle the smallest number. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, <laughs> zero out of three, oh. And you know, like just based on the level, the difficulty level of this question, it's for like a younger student. And I feel like they comprehended it. They just didn't realize that like the one meant the first question and those are the three numbers and then so on and so forth. But they were able to analyze it and kind of do it, sort of. Like I'd give them like a half a grade. What do we got here? Oh, <laughs> it's a maze. But instead of the person actually going through all the little loops and the turns, they're just taking the outside route. They're taking the scenic route. They don't need to be bothered with the stuff on the inside because honey, I can go on the outside to my house. Well done, no one said it was off limits, so kudos. Oh, he's on a bike, but it's being powered by a hoverboard. I mean, that's not how you get exercise, but that's how you get around town quickly and efficiently. If you have like a paper route, that is it. Like just get a little wagon, just push on your little hoverboard and like bam, done in 10 minutes. Who has time to ride a bike? Not me, not you, not us. Present, not included. Oh, it's just batteries. <laughs> I would be like, here are the batteries for the future gifts that I will be getting you in the long distant future. That sucks though when you're like, when you buy something for somebody and you think like, wow, what a great gift. And they go to open it and then they go to like rip it open and play with it. And it's like, batteries aren't included. Like, oh, come on. It's such a ploy by the toy industry and the stores to work together to sell batteries, I swear. All right, so this guy is using chopsticks to hold up a spoon. I mean, buddy, that's not really beating the system. I think you're losing at the system because you're doing a lot of extra work for no reason. You don't need to be like pinching them. You can, you can just scoop and slurp. No harm, no foul, I won't judge you. He's blowing on it he's like, it's hot, I'm just gonna eat my soup now. What do we have here? Okay, we got like a banker box with a phone on top. She's having like a full on movie theater experience in the comfort of her own bed. And I love it. Like she's just like so content, so happy. It's probably like dark in there, nice and serene. She's probably got like surround sound going. I'm just in the zone. I'm just watching like my own cartoons. No one's bothering me. There's not room for two. This is a one person movie going experience and I like it. I won't be doing it, but I like it. 11, to oh. <laughs> I love it because you can't tell if they're saying false or true. The way that they wrote it so perfectly, you know, like when they're at home, they're studying and they're like, this, I'm just gonna learn how to like write it both ways. And they won't be able to tell and they should be able to tell and I should get full marks. It looks like a frulus. You could do it on one or two questions, but not on every question. You do need to know this information. I swear I've done this too, where it's like, you know, when they put like, you just have to put T or F and then your X looks like a T as well. Like I've done that, but then I'm like, oh, like what if they don't know what I actually mean? This I would give me so much anxiety because I like to like mentally count how many answers I think I got right versus how many I got wrong. And this would just be like one, two, three, four, four like eight wrong. Like, no, I can't, I can't. Going to spank me? Good luck. <laughs> just like a whole alone trap of Lego, like sharp objects. Okay, no worries. Let me just go get my steel toe boots and then I'll come in. No, I'm just kidding, I don't condone that. But Clever, clever. Now clean it up. Like that is not a fun game to clean up. <laughs> Food isn't allowed in the living room. His table is not allowed in the kitchen. He beat the system, I quit. So food isn't allowed in the living room, so he's in the kitchen. His tablet isn't allowed in the kitchen. Okay, he wins. Quite literally wins at life. Oh, if I saw my kid doing this, I would be like, are you having a good time, sweetie? Like, you're following the rules, you're so good. Problems. You fell on the playground and scratched your knee. Solutions, get up and deal with it. <laughs> oh, you know he comes from like a family of tough love. Like they just like, he breaks his nose, so like, get up and deal with it. That kind of makes me sad. 10 words I can spell right are, 10 words I can spell right are octopus, seven, two. Kudos on octopus though, like <laughs> just throwing that in there. Full of marks again. Like these kids are geniuses. All right, we have a kid who's like, parents are probably like, Go play outside. You, no, you can't be inside anymore. Okay, fine. 
<laughs> takes his TV, takes his PlayStation. I like how he like has a decoy Nerf gun in case they come out. He could just like chuck his TV back in the, the window and then just like get his Nerf gun and be like, I'm playing outside, you told me. This kind of scares me too, because it's like kids are just so addicted to their games that like quite literally, instead of playing outside in like a cool foresty environment, he would rather play his video games. But good on you. <laughs> well, there you guys have it. Those are the top kids that beat the system. Most of them were clever. Some of them were like downright genius and others were just diabolical. So let me know what your thoughts are. Please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and tap that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. I just realized they're all pictures and I don't need headphones, so that's cool. I keep saying kudos. Is that like a really like Karen thing to do? I don't know. I feel like Karen's wouldn't say kudos because I'm giving, you know, encouragement. All right, we got an equation. Oh God, it's trigonometry. No, I'm done with high school. I don't want this. I don't want to know about this. I don't, I hate trigonometry. It's really embarrassing turning red.